folks, it's me, Michaela, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I would just do, wait, I didn't turn my heater on. Okay, now there won't be any interruptions. So today I thought I would do a tour of my bookshelf, a bookshelf tour, if you will. And I was like debating whether or not to do this because I only have one bookshelf I keep books on and I don't have that many books. And normally when you see bookshelf tours on YouTube, they're all like gorgeous and hundreds of books and they're all displayed so nicely and I want them all. But that I think is like not the reality for most people. It's definitely not the reality for me. And that doesn't mean that I don't like my bookshelf or that I don't put any effort into how I display it. And I thought, you know what, I think maybe my cute little pathetic bookshelf deserves to be shown. That's what we're gonna be doing today. We're gonna go shelf by shelf over everything I have on my one little bookshelf in my one little library. Okay, let's go. So first here's just like a little overview of my bookshelf. It is more than just books on this shelf. It is kind of a little catch-all for a lot of things. I do have it organized and I have like an idea of what I want organized. This shelf here is what will become classics, okay? It's just not achieving that goal at the moment. And then this shelf here is all YA fantasy. And then this shelf is my one science fiction book followed by adult fantasy. And then we have historical romance followed by YA and adult mystery. And then this fun little stack here of like, you don't fit in a category, so now you're friends. Then I have this shelf is mainly my educational books. And then again, mostly knickknacks, things that I keep. And then this is the real catch all. Also, yes, I have a step stool because I'm short, so I'm not gonna be able to show you the top shelf properly by itself about this. So this is this is my best friend. And also don't look at my laundry. Don't look, I have to wash all of my towels, okay? Stop looking at it, stop doing that. So welcome to my top shelf. This will one day be my classic shelf. And I do have this. This is three books by three Bronte sisters that I got at a secondhand bookshop here in Montreal. So we have Wuthering Heights, The Tenant of uh, Wildcat Hall, and Jane Eyre. This is like marking how the classics will fill up the shelf, but they're just not yet. This is a cute little like puzzle game that my mom got me one time. You're supposed to like try and tilt it so all of the silver balls like go into the hole in the ladybug. Cute, cute. And then I also have a lot of cards on my shelves just in general. I really like receiving cards and I like pretty cards and so my parents and other people in my life often send me cards because they know I like them and then I use them to display on my shelf. Then we have my puzzle as well as this is the box for the cross stitch that I'm currently doing and then we have this really fun um, 2006 puppies and dog calendar that's like still in the wrapping. A friend found like for free on the road and then decided to give it to me as a gift and I claim how it's like in mint condition and it's going to be like my retirement fund anyway at some point the calendar will be correct again right like there will come a year when all the days are the same as in 2006 and then maybe i can use it here we have my ya shelf ya fantasy shelf really i should clarify so these three here are the inheritance cycle by christopher paolini and you'll notice that like this one looks really beat up um and this one looks really new this is because these are the books from my childhood home my parents mailed them to me but like the copy of the first book that we had actually like died in a flood like it was lost r.i.p to that book so this one is actually brand new that my parents <laughs> They bought it for me because they're like, well, you can't read them if you don't have the first book. So that was really sweet of them that they did that. And that's why I only have three because like we never owned the fourth book, I guess, like back home. Then we have this is such a beautiful little card. They all have like a bunch of writing. My mom's writing is like oh, basically not legible to anybody who's not related to us. And this is actually like a tiny little humidifier that looks like a cactus. Um, but 
that's just like covered up by this little thing at the moment. This mostly just like keeps my books standing up and like separated. Then we have my childhood Harry Potter series. This is just hanging out here. Another set of books that my parents mailed me. My parents mailed me a lot of things. I really love them. They're great. And then this is a Polaroid of like when I first moved into this apartment and like I walked my plant over here from my old place because I didn't want it to die. My plant's name is Pete. And I just thought it was really funny that Pete was the only thing in the whole apartment, so I took a picture. And then this is like a little geode that I bought at the ROM when I was living in Toronto. My bestest friend came to visit me and we went to the ROM and she like really wanted to go see all the rocks and I didn't because I don't find rocks that exciting, but I did buy this little rock to remember that occasion. And then this is like the newest card actually that I got in my, this is what my mom and my dad sent me for Valentine's Day. Isn't it cute? They were like, we just found this in the house and it looked cute, so here you are. So I'll move that for a second. And then we have my Lee Bardugo section. I do own Shadow and Bone. It's actually in like a different cover than these two because they were a gift from my grandmother and she decided to buy me like the whole series, but like bought the first one in a mismatching cover. It's kind of cute. Oh my God, ignore the fact that like I only have two nails painted on my hand, okay? Okay, just don't look at that. I do own Shadow and Bone, but it's out on loan to my sister at the moment. So it is missing. So just like imagine that book here. And then you have the whole Shadow and Bone followed by Six Crows. Another little card. And then we have Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard. I actually read the whole series for like my gigantic movie length of reading vlog where I just like summarize everything that happens. So feel free to go check that out. But I bought like the first book and then I only felt like eh about it. So that's why I only own the first one. I don't think I'll get rid of it cause it like, you know, it looks nice, it's cute. I didn't hate the book, but I also was like, I'm not gonna go buy the rest of the series, especially when I like my books to match. So like, I'm not buying the hard covers of the rest of the series when I only found it like, okay. Next up we have my adult fantasy shelf which also features Dune. This is the only sci-fi book I've read. I think I'll have to read it again to actually fully understand it because I was like confused most of the time, but I didn't hate it. Then we have The Poppy War, my beloved Poppy War. This was a birthday gift from my sister, the hardback. It's glorious, we love it. Can't wait to read it. I wanna start this series so bad, but I told myself I have to finish them before I start a new one, so that's why it's just like patiently waiting for me here. Then I have another... <laughs> sent to me from my parents bookshelf and that is this bind up of all three of the lord of the rings books by mr tolkien himself this is like again i'm going to read this at some point i just don't have a date set for it yet so it's just you know sitting here for now making it look like i am cultured in fantasy or something i don't think cultured is the right word then this is like this little like irish lady porcelain thing that my grandmother got me i think she's so cute i also have this is actually a measuring tape it's like yeah it's like a soft measuring tape but it looks like a snail what oh his eye is not doing okay sir sir are you all right yeah i just keep this here because it's cute and like you never know what you're gonna need to measure something and then i have my brando sando mistborn is also well, this is all Mistborn. The Final Empire is currently on loan to my sisters, so that's also not here. But I have the mass market paperbacks for these, so I like put them this way, because otherwise they look like really short if there's any of this way. It looks kind of stupid. And then we have another card. Wow. And then we have my little Instax Polaroid camera that I like never use enough. This is actually like a bracelet that my, my mom got it made for me, because growing up, like my name never existed on keychains and things that you could like buy at like you know like tourist spots and i always felt really bad because all my other sisters have like really regular regular white people names so they were always there and mine was not because it was like this gaelic spelling of michaela so she had this made for me and i actually used it as a bookmark because i'm not really going to wear it as a bracelet it's not my vibe that way but i just really love it and it works really nicely and cutely as a bookmark then i actually do have some bookmarks these are both from someday books in st catherine's which i went to and i bought a couple of books cute little local bookstore and then i have my akatar series here i'm like kind of mad that like why does this all of a sudden have like a different vibe like the coloring is different like why does it have the black shading all of, all of a sudden? And then why is this in white when these are in black? 
it makes me mad because it like matches but doesn't match part of me is like should i take off the jackets and just have like the naked hardbacks here let me know if that is a thing that i should do we're now really getting to the point where like shelves do not have singular designations but that's okay start over on this side and we have my two Evie Dunmores from her uh, A League of Extraordinary Women series. There is like three out and the fourth one is coming out this year, but I only own and have read these two. And these are like my only historical romance. So that's why they're kind of like over here by themselves hanging out. This is like a tiny little mini Stonehenge. I have not been to Stonehenge, but my aunt went and then she brought back this little tiny Stonehenge and I thought it was so cute. So I have it. We got another card. And this is just like a... It's like a puzzle that you're you're supposed to be able to like take it apart and then like build it back together to look like this but like it involves using your brain so i haven't this is like a little ladybug handmade kind of like felt pouch thing i just keep extra change and like extra like point cards and like gift cards and things like that in there because i'm like i don't what else to put in there and i also don't know where else to put all those things then we have my mystery books so we have the first two from the inheritance games by jennifer lynn barnes the first from the veronica speedwell series by deanna rayborn the first from a killer's and a, 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 there's only one killer a killer in king's cove by iona wisha the first in the finley donovan series and then the first two richard osman uh, Thursday Murder Club books, which I've only read the first of. I also haven't read this one yet. <laughs> so I just like start mystery series and then I just stop. And it's not that I like don't want to read the rest. I just like don't get the next books and then I don't read them. <laughs> it's a problem I have. I'm addressing it in my life. Then we have my other random books. My Song of Achilles book. This baby is so beat up at this point. She does not look um that pretty anymore but it's because this is one that like i read and i really liked it so then i left it to lend to my father so he could read it who then lent it to like my uncle who could read it and then my sister i don't know it, it, it's made a lot of rounds so it's like well loved beat up you know then i have when no one is watching by Alyssa cole i read this some oh god i don't remember but i liked it i didn't love it but i liked it and then grit this i had to read this for school and it's not that like i found it interesting as a nonfiction book discussing grit and like the psychology behind it but like i had so many gripes i had so much about this book that i was like um no just no no thank you i I had a lot of questions. I had a lot of a lot of qualms with that book, but it's still there because I bought it and I read it, so it's staying on the shelf. And I, I didn't hate reading it. I just had a lot of things I didn't agree with that it had inside. The chaos increases as we move down a shelf. We have this like extremely old from when I was an undergrad French textbook and then a vegan cookbook from when I was vegan, which I no longer am, but I am vegetarian. And then we have, these are like my singing educational books in a way. This is just like a book about art song. This is a, a book on French song. This is just like some cute little, a little book of Newfoundland songs and poetry that one of my voice teachers at uni gave me because I was from Newfoundland. And then this is my Italian English dictionary that I use when I am translating my Italian works. And then we have a birthday card and a candle and sunglasses and my real glasses and more cards from my birthday and when I graduated and my little Bluetooth speaker, cause why not? This is like all like placeholder stuff that I'm expecting will move eventually as like, you know, my books expand. And then we have this lovely final shelf that is so, so bad. Oh my God. I maybe should have like tried clean it up before I did this, but whatever. On this side is like my music scores. And then this is my mic. And then this is the cord for the mic that actually doesn't work. So I have to get a new cord for the mic. It uses like a mini USB and not a micro USB. So like that's super annoying because I'm gonna have to order it from Amazon. And I don't like Amazon. I don't wanna use Amazon, but I don't think I can find it anywhere else. So I'm sad. Then we have my knitting. This is just like a bunch of wool that I have. I need to use and this is like a dishcloth that I started and then like realized I didn't have enough wool left in that ball for like 
the last four or five rows so then i just like took it off and it's just hanging out and then these are my straight knitting needles and my circular knitting needles and this is actually a like an, a knitting pack it has like a ruler with like knitting needle gauges and stitch holders these cute little scissors and all this like row counters and stuff stitch markers all of this it's my mom's it's like ancient it's vintage we love and so that all hangs out here for now yeah so that is my cute little pathetically small bookshelf tour that i'm putting out into the world for all of the fellow tiny amount of books on your bookshelf people who want to feel represented on YouTube. The having the giant bookshelves with all the books, you have to start somewhere and this is where I'm starting. I'm on a budget, so I'm not buying like any books. <laughs> so this is what I have. And this is what I, I'm presenting to you all. If you like this video, make sure to give it a like, comment down below. How many books do you have in your library? How many books do you own? If you haven't counted, how many do you think you own? Do you keep books even if you don't like them just to say that you have books? I feel like I would be that kind of person, mostly because like if I spent money on something, I want to keep it. If you like me and you kind of want to come back again, kind of want to stick around, consider subscribing. Why not? I'd be happy to have you. And with that, I hope you're having a wonderful day and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.